Toronto is very tough. One of the most fun street courses of the year. I just love um, the risk versus reward and the commitment that you have to have around that place. Risk versus reward. That choice perfectly sums up what it's like to wrestle an Indy car around the city streets of Toronto. A very technical track where one little small mistake can cost you dearly. This is Touring Tracks Toronto. Kind of a bit of a bull ring, you know. You've got the kind of the one long straight, but but the rest of the time, you know, you're 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 just fighting the car. It's super aggressive, especially through the last section of the circuit. It's a hard track. Your apex walls. It's very bumpy. A lot of blind corners. It's taken me a long time to get that right. One of the reasons Toronto was so challenging to get right is the presence of all those walls lurking at every corner. You heard three-time winner Will Power reference a lot of blind corners, meaning you can't really see the spot where you want to position your car. A great example of this, turn six, where your best plan of attack is to aim the car at the wall, use it as your apex, and hope you're not over the limit on the turn in. Miss your mark by even the slightest of margins, and it's trouble. Oh, oh trouble! Armendinger clouts the wall a time! Oh. Gets hit by Mario Dominguez! The wall isn't just a factor in the high speed areas, even on the hairpin. Its role is significant. You got the commitment of going into the hairpin in turn three and trying to get the most out of it and braking. Again, getting super close to the wall in three because that's where all the grip is. You know, the closer you are to that wall, the grip just pulls you around that corner. And, and now even through, you know, turns five and six in that section, you've got different patches here and there. Talk to any driver about Toronto, and one of the first things they'll mention is the racing surface. With different concrete patches all over the track, it really changes the grip on an Indy car. And a change of grip is one of the biggest challenges every driver faces when racing on the city streets of Toronto. You're breaking on a certain grip level, a high grip level, and in the middle of the corners it has some shiny, very slippery cement. So the car suddenly changes balance. It's really tough to get that all right. That's probably the most demanding thing about Toronto, is just it really is a patchwork track where you know, you've kind of got new seal, you've got some concrete, you've got some rough concrete, then you've got polished concrete, and it's pretty bumpy too. So uh, I love it. It's a real challenge and, and, and really demanding.